Okay, everybody. Hi, David Bott here from OutsideOurBubble.com, and we figured we would finish off this series on tanks by doing a professional tank cleaning. And you're wondering, whoa, what do you mean? I flush my tank every time. It's not the same. There's been a lot of discussion online in since our videos have gone up about how you use your gray tanks and how you use your black tanks, and some people leave them open, some people leave them shut, blah, blah, blah. Well, there's reasons you do things in RVs. And one of the things you don't realize is that over time, stuff builds up in those tanks, which can affect your sensors, even if you have electronic ones. Um, but more so, it, it just it's just stuff you really want to get out of there. So as much as you think you're cleaning out your tank every time, you're probably not. So a high pressure cleaning is the way to go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to empty our tanks like I normally would and show you the water flow and everything. And then we're going to hook up a 4,000 PSI system and flush the tanks and show you what really is left in there. By using this, you'll be able to see the crud that comes out. This will go onto the system. This in here will go through with a 4,400 PSI. So all the crap and bleh, whatever will just come right out and you'll be able to see the difference. So right now, I'm going to empty our tanks as normal, and then we're going to get to the power washing. Okay, right now I am emptying the black tank. So here you go. This is regular flush of the black tank. You don't need to really see all this. So we're going to cut this in a second so you don't have to have, well, be grossed out. Anyways, um, in a second we'll do the gray tank to flush out the tube. Okay, so right now I've just emptied the black tank and you saw that stuff coming out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the tank with our rinse. So right now I've just turned this on and the tank's going to rinse. And when it does, it's going to push stuff from the back forward in order to get more stuff out. Or at least you think you're going to get it all out. Um, so I'm going to let that run for a few minutes and let that flush out. I'm going to let it build up and then flush it out again fully. And then uh, we're going to get over to the gray tank and let that empty. And then we're going to get into the power washing. It should be interesting. Okay, so I'll be back in a few. Okay, now with the black tank totally empty, as you can see, there's hardly anything coming out. Now it's time for the gray tank. Opening up the gray tank, you'll see the black matter is pushed out of the tube, followed by the gray matter. So here comes your gray water, which looks really nice and clean, right? So I must be keeping my, my gray tanks totally clean, and, and I shouldn't have a problem, right? Well, we're going to find out when we power wash it. Okay, so... We're now ready for the power washing. Now remember, 400 PSI. So this is actually coming from a powered gas-powered pressure washer system with a special tip on the end. What happens is this tip goes in, and there's four jets on here that actually are firing backwards at high pressure, which will basically pull this into the tank. You know, kind of like, well, it's a it's an engine, if you will. It's it's water propelled. So when it gets in there, that all that pressure is just going to whack everything on the side of the tank and everywhere, and you're going to see all this stuff probably come out and if, if, if I'm right, we're going to see a lot of stuff come out of this tank. And you think your gray tank is normally clean when you're done. I, 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 I beg to differ with you, uh, and we're going to find out right now if that's the case. So this is going to end up going in here. It's going to end up going all the way into the tank like that. And it's going to flush it all out, and we're going to look right here and see what we can see. Let's find out. This is Todd. Todd's going right. to be our pressure washer guy today. Hi, I'm Todd. I'm with Diversified RV Care. Like you mentioned earlier, we'll use a 4,000 PSI machine, uh, high pressure machine with a nozzle, a jetter nozzle. And we're going to go ahead and get it, get it started right now. Okay, we're, we're in the black tank right now. Uh, this isn't as clear as we would like, but you can see some some debris coming out. You'll see a lot more here in about five seconds when this thing starts to backfill. And you can see it's how much it takes that nozzle. We're probably, I don't know, eight to 10 feet inside now. You can see the amount of debris that's coming out. And when I pull it back, occasionally it, what I'm doing is it directing it to each corner, but you can see the amount of yuck that's coming out of there right now. So you think your tanks are clean and they're really not. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me over that pump or not, but um, I'm over here because let me tell you, that smells. This is this is not a this is not a lighthearted job at all. Sorry to our neighbors. It's been about 15 minutes or so at this point, and you can see this water is getting much more clear than it was before um, coming out of this tube here. So. Obviously, we cleaned out a lot that was in there before. I mean, it used to look like this. And that was after we cleaned the tanks using our normal tank cleaning procedure. 
Okay, now we got this totally cleaned out, and this is the black tank. So let's see what the water looks like coming out now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. Show you that. As you can see, the water's pretty clear, which means our black tank, which as you saw earlier, was quite a mess, um, is pretty clean now. And that's after we thought we cleaned it properly, all these, all these times with the rinse. Not that our rinse didn't help, it surely did, but you can see clearly that how much debris was left in the tank. I can't wait to see what happens to the gray tank. Okay, so now we're moving on to the gray tank. And what we're gonna show in the beginning of this is, now remember, we all think our gray tanks are clean because, hey, it's gray water, right? So there can't be any particles or anything in there left over after you flush it out. You know, you raise your tank up to 100% and then you flush it, can't be anything left, right? Well, let's find out right now. As you can see, it's not clean like you think it would be. It's pretty dirty. You look in here, all kinds of particles, debris, soap scum, all kinds of stuff that is left over that you think is out of the tank. You don't leave your gray tank open. You keep it shut, because then at least you have the chance of pulling this stuff out on every flush. If you don't, it builds up scum, mildew, and all kinds of crud over time, which doesn't come out very easily, except under high pressure wash. Pretty amazing. Gosh. Hey, Mike, bro! <laughs> okay, so it's been about 25 minutes or so, and our tank is pretty clean. Remember that gray and all the stuff that came out before? Well, let's see what it looks like now after power washing. Much, much better. And that's coming out of the gray tank. You saw it before, and that was after, after we cleaned our tanks the way we normally do. So that pretty much shows it, I think. If you leave your gray tank open all the time, you're gonna wanna probably have a power flush at some point. I'm David Bott from Outsider of Bubble. And now that the motor's off. Nice. See ya. OutsiderBubble.com. How gross was that? <laughs> gross.